Alright, on Kit EK well, you know, you know which is which. Um so okay. Something that we missed quite a lot of while we were hiatusing mm -hmm. is there's quite a lot of uh Ahsoka trailers. Teasers and whatnot. Yeah. Do we know do we know when it's coming out? Twenty eighth. Of August. Yep. Tw no, twenty third of August. Mm. It is. Yep, so we have to rifle through as many of the series as we can because I want to watch Ahsoka. That's so do I. I have hope for Ahsoka. So do I. Um, Will that hope dwindle? Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Dave Filoni is in charge of it though, so, you know. Um, yeah, so this is a new teaser, came out two years ago, mm -hmm. called Foss. Um, yeah, let's watch. I know Grand Admiral Thrawn was un unveiled. In one of the trailers. I think it was the first trailer. Was it the first no, trailer? No. Second trailer. He was unveiled at the Disney Expo thing early. Mm -hmm. But that trailer only came out public a few weeks ago. Mm. This is a new one. So this is have all the cuts and whatnot of cool shots and stuff. So let's watch. Find out. It's a bit sad because he's passed away. As far as I know, this is the last thing he's done. He's Ray's, passed away? Ray Stevenson, yeah. Mm. Um, I think that's his name, Ray Stevenson. God, it's going to be really awful. If that's not his name, isn't it? I'm going to see him like a right penis face. Um, so yeah, let's watch. See what we can mm -hmm. see. What we can figure out, I guess. Now. Oh, you big tease! That was a gigantic tease. Alright, first thing I want to absolutely confirm. These, you see these lot fighting in the ship. I'm trying to find it, hold on. Um, just while I'm looking for it, Hayden Christensen. I'm so excited. These things are 100% the things that Ezra. carry Ezra and yeah. Thrawn off. Mm -hmm. So it looks like they find them. Well, we kind of you saw it in saw them in Mandalor Mandalorian. Was it Mandalorian? Yeah. Grogu sees them, doesn't he? Yeah. You see, well, you just see the sort of silhouette, don't you? Yeah. In hyperspace. Um, another thing that I've read up on. Apparently, this is an old Inquisitor. Hmm. Who, uh, obviously, with the fall of the Empire, sort of went on his own a little bit. Did odd jobs here and there. I think for Admiral Thrawn. Um, and Still no Admiral Thrawn? I, didn't see Admiral I thought Thrawn he was there, trailer. was he not there? Oh. oh. I guess we'll see him at some point. I feel like they're deliberately just like not giving us loads of him. You know? Yeah. This looks like Corellia. I'm sure you said that the first I've said, time. I've said that a lot. Every planet to me looks like Corellia. But they're building ships here. This looks like they're building ships. Mm -hmm. Why? Why would? Is this maybe them building like a ship for Thrawn? Mm, why be. else would like an old Inquisitor be there? And maybe. But these people, um, i.e., this guy, if I can find him. Yep. To see what he became. <gasps> this guy, Ray Stevenson, mm -hmm. if that's his name, I'm sure it is, is also a specialised warrior. I don't know what what sort of category he comes under. Who also works for Thrawn? Okay. Um, so does the other one. That's why the way, that's why they use orange lightsabers, not red. Um, I also love that. Oh. The order, new Anakin you would live to see what he became. I love that bit. I love that line. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Isn't it? They're definitely. Who's? That's, is that's that Hera that? behind her. Okay. Yeah. Also, the fact that it says a new Jedi will rise, right? 
that is not Ahsoka that it's talking about there. Because Ahsoka's thing is that she is she not a Jedi. Jedi. I hope they don't do a whole, oh, she's finally accepting that she's a Jedi. I hope they don't do that. Because that's, that's a whole no. arc. Yeah. Also, in The Mandalorian, when she was with Luke, she made it seem like she was still not a Jedi. And when she no. was, when she met the Mandalorian, mm-hmm. she made it seem like she wasn't a Jedi. Yeah. So it's either Ezra, it's either Luke, mm. or it's someone else. But hasn't Luke already risen? Yeah. So um, oh, I just mean he might be in it. Well, I think we... we it, oh, you mean just in general, he's, ris- he's yeah. risen at this point. Why would a new Jedi arise? So know? it's probably talking about Ezra. So the question is, does Ahsoka survive this? I hope so. So I'm not entirely sure when this is set. It's obviously set after The Mandalorian Season 2. But is it set after The Mandalorian Season 3, which we haven't even finished yet? I love our ship. I love that that's that's the ship. That's their cool little ship. Hera looks cool. Good for her. What's her name again? Is it something like Sabine Wren? Yeah. It's something like Sabine. She was original. She was she's Isn't ruler of Mandalore at one point. Oh no. I th- no, never mind. What? I thought it was um what you called? She was the ruler of Mandalore that the what was it there? The Duchess. Duchess, yeah. Satine, her name was. Yeah. I think I'm sure she's called Sabine. I might have to look at it. I think it is Sabine. Shall I have a look? Because I just want to check that I'm getting Ray Stevenson's name right. Rebels. Cast. 8 out of 10. Pfft. Rubbish. Harrison Duller, Kanan Jarrus. Yep, Sabine Wren. I was correct. Um, yeah, Let's just double check that that guy's name is definitely Ray Stevenson. I saw. It's not an animated series, you pillock. Ray Stevenson, yep. Oh! Hayden Christensen, Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> uh, Ezra Bridge is obviously definitely in it. Grand Admiral Thrawn, last but David Tennant. David Tennant. What the devil is he doing there? Um, I actually think David Tennant was in Rebels. Wasn't David Tennant in Clone Wars? I think he's one. Of, he's a droid. Yeah. I is think it, he's, isn't he? Yeah. Isn't he the droid that helps them create the lightsabers, like the young Padawans? Am, uh, I think, am I thinking correctly might about be, that? Yeah, might be. I know he's definitely. Because there's a whole storyline about them going and getting the crystals yeah. and making the lightsabers in them. Yeah. I think oh that's word, him. So if excited. I remember correctly. I'm so excited. Ah, oh, look. Was that? Was that him? Yeah, that's still him, isn't it? So it definitely look. We've said this before. This place that they're standing in. Mm-hmm. Right, is uh, somewhat similar to the what's it called? The window or whatever it is that Palpatine's in in Rebels. Right. You know when Ahsoka when he goes back and he saves Ahsoka from Darth Vader. Where there's like all the windows in a time. I think so. Yeah. Because obviously we know we know that Hayden Christensen's back. Mm-hmm. At the very least, his voice is back. I hope we see him as a Force Ghost. I'd like to see him as a Force Ghost. I'd like Why to see not? Clone Wars, Hayden Christensen. Flashbacks. You know? Yeah, give us my... Just, for, just for you. Order, order 66. 66. <laughs> yeah, knew that was coming. <laughs> but the other big theory that a lot of people had was is that Ahsoka is going to... Have a look at time and try and see it. And mm. I don't want to rehash old videos, but basically the, 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 the general theory is that she's going to go back and try and stop Anakin from be, becoming Darth yeah. Vader. I saw, was it, did we say, or have I just seen it, that he is like an old, he's like from a different time himself? It might be. I that he know. is, I can't remember where I saw it, I think it might have just been a, a, theory, online. a theory online, yeah. yeah, that he is like, because she does that, and she all his things, and he somehow ends up there, and he's from a different time. Hmm. Maybe. Like I don't a flash know. thing, like a flashpoint thing. Yeah, maybe because he kind of looks like his all his armor and everything. Well, he it knows looks... he knows about Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. More importantly, he knows that Anakin Skywalker becomes Darth Vader. There's not many people who know that. There's not many Jedi who know that. 
Well, apparently not. Well, Ahsoka, okay. did, Ahsoka didn't know. Yeah, but that last from Obi Wan did. Which, oh, she doesn't count. Raver. No, she doesn't count. Sorry, person who played Raver, but you don't count. Um, but more than anything, I would absolutely love to see Rosario Dawson against Hayden Christensen in a lightsaber fight on Mustafa. That would be awesome. And if there's one thing that I've learned, it's that Dave Filoni loves to give me what I like. I feel like that's what this series is going to be. Mm. It's just not my fans. I have your back. Here's yeah. everything you want ever. Yeah. But the thing is, we have to think about as well is that this is going to lead into the movie that they have planned. Yeah. Um, we don't know much about the movie. We just know that's going to tie it all together. I don't mean the, the series and everything. It's going to mm -hmm. be like the... All of the series are going to culminate in that. Yeah, that's going to be like the final. So like Boba Fett, Mandalorian, Ahsoka. Everything. Clone Wars, Rebels. Everything. It's all just going to come, in that come down at this. And as far as we know, the film is is its working title is Heir to the Empire, which is <laughs> which is a very famous legacy legacy book now, or Legends book or whatever you yeah. call it. Um, they did also sit in the also say on the trailers, Heir to the Empire. Oh yeah, yeah. She, she did, does. She did yeah. say that, didn't she? Yeah. Um, she said she said it to the back of Thrawn's head. Maybe. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I remember things. Um, well, yeah. I really, I, lo I really love the idea of it doesn't matter what she does, what everyone does. Mm -hmm. Anakin was always going to be Darth Vader. Yeah. Because a lot of people, like a lot of people, like to say about the sequels, it was nice how they had the whole. You know, anyone can be a Jedi, I think. Okay, not true. Not true at all. If you've got a chosen one mm. and destiny and things like that, and a yeah. mystical force that acts that like, acts through yeah. us, then no, not anyone can be a Jedi. Sorry, little broom boy, you can't be a Jedi. Um, and that's uh, that's why I'm not going to go and see the film that Ray's doing. Oh, yeah. That's about right. I'm not going to go and see that because, no, little broom boy, you can't be a Jedi. Um, I think what we have to thing is so is whether we like it or not so far the sequels are staying they're doing a rare movie the sequels are staying mm -hmm. yep. so it, it's probably this is going to lead into i would imagine sequel territory yeah we'll probably see a young so we'll probably ben see like Saul. a young yeah if if luke is going to be in it we might see him starting his his training of of his own um yeah younglings, I guess. Because I assume if they're going to do a story in which Grand Admiral Thrawn is the main bad guy, then Luke can't be sat on the sidelines. He has to be involved. Yeah, like the next big bad, well, should be the next big bad, and yeah. he's just not doing anything. Yeah. Do you not feel like, though, you'd prefer, do you think one movie will be enough? Depending on what is inclusion in, in the series is, do you think one movie will be enough to do know. it justice? I don't know. I mean, I do trust Dave Filoni. Yeah, and John Favreau's working on it as well, isn't he? Mm -hmm. I imagine Bryce Dallas Howard is also involved. We hope she is. It's, but... I don't know why I just envisioned it would be more than one movie. Yeah. Because it, that's that's what it feels like it should be, shouldn't it? He's like, he's the next... There's every chance the they, might, they, might, they might do another series in between. Yeah. I, I would have I would have thought they would announce that before the film, like, but... Yeah. You never know. I suppose the question is, after this, where does this leave Ahsoka? If this is pre, uh, post Mandalorian mm. season two, when we don't see her again, I assume we don't see her in Mandalorian season three. We haven't finished that yet. Um, but well, there's only so much. She's not in the sequels. No. Um. But I wouldn't want to be in the sequels either of those. Yeah. I feel like that's not just because she wasn't in the sequels doesn't necessarily no, no, mean she's dead. I was joking. Dead. I was joking. Yeah. I know, but like that's Yeah. My my point. People might say oh, well, she wasn't in them, but yeah. mm -hmm. she might have just been off. She might have just been somewhere. Yeah. But then the question also is if we start getting Luke and maybe a Ben, do we start getting hints at Snoke? Or is Snoke going to be something that's addressed in the Mandalorian season 3? Or even season four, aren't they doing it? Aren't they doing a season four? I think that's, yeah, I think that's gonna be Someone the final. Someone said that to us, didn't they? Someone said that they were doing a season four. I think so. I think that's gonna be the final. So one, I assume isn't then it? that's gonna have something. To I do mean, with even everything, Snow. even Bad Batch. The end of season one and Bad Batch, they got that. Um, that's the other thing we need to watch the other Bad Batch. Yeah, the last from Camino, the Doctor last, and because like she was working on cloning, and you're kind of like, oh, she's gonna. 
yeah. make like just clone the emperor or whatever. I think I would forgive the sequels a lot more if everything around it helped. Helped it, yeah. But that I just think that's annoying though, the fact that it needs that. It shouldn't have to be like that. Yeah. It but you've got just, you have to admit, Revenge of the Sith was made a lot better by the animated season as well. Series of Clone Wars as well. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough, but it's it was still it was still, yeah, it was still great without it's still, the it's still a good movie. Yeah. A lot of people will argue that the sequels were as well, and all of those people would be wrong. The thing is, the biggest flaws in the prequels was Padme and Anakin, right? And no one claims for that of being and good. Jar Jar and Jar Jar Binks. and the overall look it looked a bit too like mm. cheap. Until yeah. Revenge of the Sith, so, uh, Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones did look. A, li- a little bit better. Revenge of the Sith looked a bit better. Little, Revenge of the Sith looked a lot better yeah. than the other two. Um, but that's the. But then the sequels, it was like it looks really good, but it's just the story. rubbish writing. Yeah. yeah, the story was garbage. The first one had potential. The second one was absolute like. Yeah. D- second one was when the Star Wars series broke. And then the third one, it was like trying to fix it, and you were kind of like, I see where they're going, but. It was basically like trying to put a plaster on a broken arm. Yeah. Yeah, like it's not going to do anything. So damage is already done. Yeah. Um, no, I'm excited about this. One of the only things that I was worried about before was that I, I was worried there was going to be sequel style lightsabering. Because you see him yes. in in one in the last trailer we watched, you see him blocking lightsabers, and he literally just goes like this, and then yeah. this, and that's it. Like I want to see the types of lightsaber deflection that was in Revenge of the Sith. You know, like when Anakin yeah. just kind of casually gets out of his Jedi Starfighter and he just kind of goes and there's like 100 droids there and he just works his way there and yeah. it's just the coolest thing that's ever existed It's ever. like, it's because the whole point, isn't it, is that the droids or the, the people are shooting at them and they're actively deflecting the things as opposed to just yeah. them being like this and for some reason the everything bolts. ever just hitting the lightsaber instead of anywhere else. Yeah. Like, it just doesn't mm-hmm. doesn't make sense. I mean, and again, people could argue that Anakin was brilliant at doing that. Yes. But also, you see Obi-Wan do it, you see Yoda do it, you see Mace see Windu do it. All of the Jedi do it throughout All the of the cool head. Jedi do it. Even Coleman Trebor does it. Do you know who that is? No. He's the dinosaur-looking Jedi that jumps up to try and get Dooku and gets shot oh, by Jango Fett. Bless. Oh, Even him. <laughs> even he. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like explaining random Jedi to you. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> it's always the ones that have such a cool death. Oh, he's got like, bless, such a cool, um, cool name as well. Coleman <laughs> Trebor. I mean, I know he's named after a mint, but come on, that's cool. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a chance that that could happen. Yeah, and I hope it doesn't. But even if they, even if they turn around and went, this guy and the other one, and the other ones aren't very aren't as good because. They're trained by Darth Vader, who doesn't want his Inquisitors to be better than him. But mm-hmm. Ahsoka was trained by Anakin to survive this kind of thing. Yeah, so I mean, she yeah. she's really good at deflecting. And I feel like because like this also includes the animated shows. Like it, it you heard it the, the dialogue that he said in the um, the shorts that they did, where he's getting the the clones to like just fire at her so she can <laughs> learn how to like fight against the, even the clones. It's like hopefully that contributes to it. But and it's things like that why. The last series of um, Clone Wars and Tales of the Jedi was so great because in Tales of the Jedi, literally shows you them training Ahsoka to survive Order sixty six, yeah. and it's tied in brilliantly. So I hope if these aren't as good at deflecting, I hope they can tie it in and basically go, well, yeah, well, okay. But she was yeah. trained by Anakin. As long Skywalker. as she's good, it, yeah. it'll be all right. Ahsoka's that Ahsoka's that person who the entire diehard Star Wars fandom yeah. wants wrapped in bubble wrap. They want to be like. Please just She's go all and... we've got. Protect her. <laughs> She's our only hope. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like though. Yeah, it makes sense because the Inquisitors were kind of just there to be. At that point, all the Jedi were gone. They didn't really need to. Mm-hmm. But it's I, I the thing is, the Inquisitors have taken a bit of a battering since, you know, especially since Rebels came out because the Grand Inquisitor was really cool in the first season of Rebels, mm-hmm. and it was voiced by Jason Isaacs as well. That's cool. That as well, you know. Um. And, you know, he was nerfed a bit in Obi-Wan because he just kind of disappeared. He was there and then he got... And then he came yeah. back and he was like, ha, 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 you thought I was dead. And it's like, uh, ugh, ugh, I don't like things like that. I don't like things like that. 
Just yeah. show me the Grand Inquisitor being cool while he's still because I know how he dies. Mm-hmm. Let let him be cool. I don't know why they didn't just make him the bad guy. Yeah, I didn't get that because if you've seen in the animated show, which you could tell they were banking on, why even pretend that he's dead? We all know he's not dead. Yeah. At the, for the, the tiny portion of fans that are watching it that haven't watched Rebels. Yeah. Target the show at the people who know these things, not the people who are just watching it because you and McGregor's not back. Not even just that, but it's like, it's yeah, you're essentially just like... Ex- like they just think we're all idiots. Yeah, you're creating drama for the minority that haven't seen everything that's yeah, already come before. But there's a big portion of the fans that have yeah. and aren't, and and remember these things. Yeah. The majority of the people that are watching it know that the Grand Inquisitor doesn't die there. Yeah. 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 Remember when it happened? We were just like. Yeah, I was angry. Hmm. Like so he better not be dead. <laughs> but no, I am. I'm excited about what. Oh, yeah. Isn't that space so pretty? We haven't seen any Ezra, have we? It's Dave Filoni. Lol. No, I oh, think oh, all we've seen is a hologram of him, isn't it? Yeah. But it's strange that we see a hologram of him looking older. Hmm. Like, how would they see a hologram of him looking older unless he was seen by someone? It's in this um, trailer somewhere, isn't it? No, it was in the one we watched before. What? I'm sure it was in this no. trailer. It's in the one I watched before. Um, unless they're just aging up, aging yeah. up the character. Well, I would assume that there's been a quite a bit of time passed because the end of Rebels is essentially the start of a new hope. This is after the the destruction of the Empire, which is three, four, five years after. If that, it might not, it might not even be that much. Two or three years. Yeah, my guess it would be about fourteen, fifteen in Rebels. Putting about seventeen or eighteen in the, in this. That's what I mean. Unless they've aged up the character from the show and he's older in this. Yeah. And um, what else was I going to say? Maybe we see him go off with Luke, unless they plan on killing Ezra off as well. But if it would feel quite cruel to bring Ezra back only to kill him off. It would be like, oh yeah, go with Luke to trade, and you're like, oh. Yeah. Well, the thing we is, we know that Ezra must die before the sequel because, again, he's not in the sequels. But I feel like, though, and it's I keep on saying, it, is it is it because they are dead, or is it just because the people who made the sequels didn't know? Yeah, but the I th- could have I could have been a lot nastier with that comment. The thing, <laughs> but is it because yeah. is it just because they didn't know about um, the, the thi- source material? The thing is with um, Ezra and Ahsoka, is that. Ezra hasn't had a, uh, as much as Ahsoka has. Ahsoka's yeah. had a big story, like a really big story. Ezra hasn't, and I think there's a lot more potential with Ezra. Not that there isn't potential with Ahsoka, there's obviously Especially tons. Especially if he's supposed a new Jedi rising and yeah. he just goes and dies. I don't think he would go and die, but I, th- I mean, I mean like in, in terms of the sequels, like it would be less damaging to just go, oh yeah, Ezra's not in this, than it would be yeah. to go, well... Yeah, Ahsoka's just not in this. I feel like it would, be, it would be better if they were just like, by the end of this, Ahsoka just says, okay, I'm going to have my own order, but it's not. I'm not going to be a Jedi, I'm going to be like my own kind of... And that's what they do. Like, I feel like that would be better than... But even again, even, even if they wanted to turn around and go, right, so Ahsoka's just left. She doesn't want anything to do with empires or republics or anything. Mm-hmm. That would be a lot more explainable to me than Ezra being with Luke, because I assume Ezra would go with Luke. Ezra being with Luke and not being in the sequels at all. That's why I feel like if he goes with her. Oh, I might go with her. Though, yeah, like if she enough. if she was to say, okay, well, like I'm just gonna go make like this, like. But I don't know. I can't see a sort of surviving heir to the Empire. I don't know. There's only a handful of characters that we know have to survive heir to the Empire. One of them's Luke. Mm-hmm. Luke has to survive. Unless they do a, a stupid thing and have him die and then come back. Then there's things like, is Han Solo going to be in it? Are they going to de-age Han Solo? Are they going to de-age Leia again? You know, it's it's kind of like... But then we know that those characters have to survive because they're in the sequels. You know, is, what other characters is there? Are we going to meet a, a young poor Dameron? Are we going to meet a de-armoured Captain Phasma? 
in Heir to the Empire. It's like there's a there's just too many threads. Like Lars Santana. Do you know what I mean? We have to see him. Max von Sydow. You remember him from Force Awakens? Why does he have the only key to Luke Skywalker? There's just That's a lot. Why I feel of... like the one movie is unless they're gonna do m more mm -hmm. in between mm -hmm. the movie and um, Force Awakens. But I just feel like because of how messy the sequels were, it, I feel like it, they might try and help, but it might just make it worse. Yeah. It would have to be a very delicately and very well done job to fix the sequels. Yes. I don't think they can fully fix that. I don't think there's any way to there's fully fix There's nothing that they could do that would make me watch them again unless they've completely remade them. Yeah. But, but no, that's not happening, is it? No, but I feel like it'd be more likely that they would try and, like... Plug in a few of the holes. Yeah. Yeah. But, who knows? We've only got to wait eight days before the next one, before the season comes out. Two episodes! I love it when they do multi-episode premieres. Um, so yeah, that was us watching the latest Ahsoka teaser trailer. Um, let us know what you think down in the comments. What kind of things would you like to see? I was excited about, as I am, about Hayden Christensen. I'm so good if you saw Force Ghost. There's Christensen so many. There's so many possibilities there with Hayden Christensen in this, isn't there? Just give us another flashback. Of them. Do you know what I would give love? us a whole episode like they did at Obi Wan, where it's just flashbacks to them. Do you know what I would love? Genuinely, then this would be really cool, and it's just an idea that I've just literally just thought of in my head. Right, you know how there was that scene in, in Rebels where she was sitting meditating yeah. and she's like talking to Anakin and then he does that bit where he goes do you know what I've become and you sort of see the red oh, Darth Vader out that he's I would Darth love Vader. to have a bit where it's like it's moving side to side and it's showing Anakin on one side and Vader on the other sort of like conflicting interests in her head a bit like Angel and Devil but you know and, and I know that's a bit cheesy and a bit it probably won't yeah. happen how would that how would how would they explain that though? Because it's not. Darth Vader isn't a separate being. He is to a lot of people. Yeah, but not to her. She knows that it's Anakin. Yeah, but even to Vader, Vader is a different person to Anakin. Yeah, but he's not actually, though, is he? Yeah. He says you didn't kill Anakin Skywalker, right? Did? Yeah. But then he became Darth Vader. Yeah. So Anakin Skywalker died when Darth Vader rose. That bit where he goes, that's not Anakin anymore. No, when he goes, no, that's not Anakin anymore. That's Darth Vader. Anakin's gone, and it's not until he goes, that's so cool. It's not until he goes no again and kills the Emperor that he becomes Anakin again. Ugh. God, I blow my own mind. I've never even noticed that before. And people say that that was a bad addition to Return of the Jedi. That's a good addition. Him saying no when he throw, when he throws at the emperor the emperor over the rail. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. I just thought of that there. But yeah, I would like that. I would like a bit where she's sort of, you know, maybe there's a conundrum where she doesn't necessarily want to kill these two people. She wants to help them, you know. And Vader's Vader's like Vader's method of it is like destroy them, you know. And he's all that. And Anakin's like. You know, no, it's not the Jedi way and all that stuff. And even Darth Vader might even go, "You are no Jedi." And it's like, <gasps> it's just going backwards and forwards between Anakin and Vader. Would that not just be the coolest? Give Anakin his own Force Ghost and give Vader his own Force Ghost. Oh my word! I should write for Star Wars, shouldn't I? Yeah, or they could just do like Anakin in a different way, in the sense that he's not like an old. He's not just like a Jedi. He's like. Not a Sith either, he's kind of like an in between. No, I like my idea better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let us know what you think down in the comments. Uh, what things would you like to see? Uh, then like the video, subscribe, ding the bell to be notified when we upload. We're back uploading every day. Anything else you want to say? I hope she doesn't die. I don't think she's going to die in this. I think she might die in Air to the Empire. <laughs> I think she might save Luke. No, because that would be so, like, imagine the heartbreak. Especially if they did the whole, she couldn't save Anakin, but I can save... But she could <gasps> save Luke, yeah. I felt myself just deflated. But just imagine, right, exactly the same as, as Vader himself. 
right? He couldn't sp save Padme, but he could save his son. She couldn't save Anakin, but she can save his son. Thingy there, there's, uh, what to call it? Parallels. Parallels. There's gotta be a lot of parallels. So all the video essay YouTubers can go, oh, did you notice this about uh, Heir to the Empire? I already wrote it. Remember that. Was that all you wanted to say? I just got so hyped for this. <laughs> 45 seconds. All I had to do was hear Hayden Christensen's voice. <laughs> they were really clever putting that at the beginning. Weren't I know. I didn't even care what came after that as long as I got his voice. <laughs> Thank you for watching.